Welcome to another question of the week video where I help you with your carp fishing questions and queries to help put more fish on the bank for you. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. If the first time you've come across this channel and you like these type of videos and you want to see more of these type of videos, then you may want to think about hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon and you'll never miss another video again. This week's question comes from Roger Lake who asks, I'm interested in using stick mix, not really sure how to use it, what I should be doing with it, what I should be buying, what I should be liquids to mix with it. Can you give me some advice? Of course, brilliant question, especially this time of year, water temperature's getting colder and you wanna create little patches of feed without filling the fish up too much. What I found works well any time of year is to get your stick mix which complements the boilies that you're using or the pop-up that you're using or the bottom baits that you're using whatever make of boilie that you're fishing with over the colder periods I'd use 50% of the stick mix that you got I'd ground up another 50% in weight of the boilies that you're using so for instance if you get a kilo bag of stick mix you get a kilo of boilies, I'd mix the two together. Obviously not in those quantities, unless you're gonna use a lot of stick mix over the winter period. I'd grind down using a crusher or using a mixer indoors until you find the boilies down to a fine crumb. Mix the two together in a little bowl and then you can add some liquids to it to make it more pliable. Now really good liquids to use. Our oh, hemp oil, you know, probably one of the best liquids you could ever use in your fishing all year round. This will infuse into that mixed up stick mix and produce little oil bubbles. When the fish are moving around the swim, the oil bubbles will hit the fish, come up in the water, and the fish will react to that and investigate and drop down onto your hook bait. Now there's other liquids you can use like chili extract or you can use um, toasted sesame seed oil or hydrolyzed liquid liver you know it's really up to you but they're just some of the ones which have worked for me not only in the winter but all year round now you can add some powders as well depending what's in your stick mix already and depending what's in your boilies because you're going to mix the two together 50 50 ratio i like to i like to put in any time of year especially the winter time is liver powder also you can stick in green lip muscle powder that's another good one mix it all up with your liquids till you get it to a moist consistency you can pack that into a little pva stick i like to use ones which are like about a 50 pence piece size you are you can either thread them onto your hook link if you're using quick links swivel quick link swivels or you can just nick them on your hook point as well if you're using pop-ups or if you're using the rotary type rigs things like that you know it's got many many uses you can even handball it in or catapult it out to the areas you're fishing you can make up little pva mesh bags rather than use a stick pva mesh bags put it tight what i found works so you don't blunt the hook or you don't get the hook through any particles in that little bits of boilie or something is to put a little bit of pva foam nugget in the pva mesh before you put your stick mix in then what you can do is you can nick the hook point into that PVA nugget and it will protect your hook point. So there you go, that's how I use the stick mix. That's the sort of mix and the ratios I use. What I'm trying to do is complement everything in there so it kicks out lots of attraction without overfeeding the fish. So you want them to drop down by using the different liquids, by using the different powders, and you can, I mean, you can use things like um, custard powder or you can put a little bit of vodka in there or you know some neat flavor from from the boilie or pop-ups that you're using you know you can put sweetener in there you can put molasses in there there's loads of different things and you can you can be like a mad professor and mix up a you know a mad stick mix of your own of your own design but that's how I go about my st mixing up my stick mix and how I use it. Hope that's given you some good ideas of how you can use stick mix in your fishing this winter and all throughout the year. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, you may want to think about subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell icon and you'll never miss another video again. See you for the next video.